Hi everyone, and welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. I'm Tom, and you know that if we post randomly in the middle of the week, it's usually because something interesting happened. Well, that's certainly the case today. Today, we're going to talk about airlines. But actually, we're going to talk about trains. Sound confusing? Allow me to explain. Have you ever heard of the concept of an airline alliance? There are three major ones in the world today, and these alliances are basically large companies that different airlines can be members of. These alliances offer passengers all sorts of bonuses. One example is membership programs. You can get air miles not only for an airline, but for an alliance, making your options of how to use your points a lot broader. And alliances offer code share flights, meaning if one airline doesn't fly to a destination, another might. SkyTeam is one of these major alliances. Their members include Delta Airlines, KLM, and Air France. Then there's One World. Aside from American Airlines, this also includes Japan Airlines, Qatar, as well as British Airways. But the largest of the alliances is Star Alliance. Its main members are United Airlines, as well as German carrier Lufthansa. Star Alliance is headquartered in Frankfurt, Germany. On July 1st, 2022, different German media outlets began reporting on its newest member, Deutsche Bahn. That's right, Deutsche Bahn, Germany's major railway company, has officially been extended an invitation to become the newest member of Star Alliance. And at first people thought it was a joke. But no, this seems to be real. With media outlets reporting that the deal could be signed as soon as next Monday. So does this mean that airline alliances aren't exclusively for airlines anymore? It may be. In recent years, especially in Europe, there's been a huge societal push for more sustainable travel. Rail travel obviously is very sustainable, which is why we're such a huge fan of it here at Trains Are Awesome. What having Deutsche Bahn be part of Star Alliance could accomplish for airlines like Lufthansa and United is allowing code share between airlines and passenger trains. When a passenger arrives in Germany, they can continue the rest of their journey in a comfortable high-speed intercity express train like the one shown here. I'm assuming that this will include through ticketing options where you can book a flight and a train on the same website, which would be an amazing way to integrate both modes of transportation. Deutsche Bahn's long distance trains, like its intercities and its intercity express trains, already serve most major destinations in Germany, as well as destinations abroad, and they're continuing to expand, especially now that the COVID-19 pandemic is not as severe as it has been in previous years. In fact, Deutsche Bahn, together with French National Railway company SNCF, recently announced that they would be launching a direct high-speed rail service between Paris and Berlin. That's an almost seven-hour trip. But aside from code sharing and through ticketing, what will some other bonuses be? Why are they doing this? Well, there have been rumors that Deutsche Bahn's Bahn Bonus Program, which awards members points based on how much they travel by train, could be expanded and incorporated into the Star Alliance air mile system. What are your thoughts on this? Should more railway companies become members of airline alliances? Let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to Trains Are Awesome, and we'll see you next time.